I'm James Cebulski. Well, game two of this matchup is set to go down tonight. to capitalize here on the power play. With a scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Looking to clear the defensive zone. Oh, and it's blocked and kept in. Well, this is a huge miscue, and you know the coach isn't going to like this. Instead of being on the offense and on the attack, you wind up back on your heels. Quick feed to Larionov. Nizhny Novgorod's got the puck against the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. The Tornadoes with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. With a long five on three, yes, you have more time. And you know that you've worked on this in practice. The coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it or you have to fire it. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Sends it to the middle, and that shot is blocked. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. And he stopped that one. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Works it across to Bowie. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Now that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he is behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. And sure, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still. Applauding that save we saw. Slides the puck over. And that goes off the glove and will play off. Unleashes a cannon! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Scoops up the puck. Skating with it. Here's the pass. Here's a shot. And that's blocked by the knee. Puck scooped up against the glass. Here's the feed. Passing performance here. Scoops up the puck. Oh, the steal! My goodness, what a save! Nizhny Novgorod's in on the offensive attack now. Moves it to Lynch. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Oh, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. The Tornadoes jump out to a 1-0 lead here, and they have been the better team, I'd say, through the better part of this first period here, Cheryl. Yeah, they really have, and I feel like they've settled into the game nicely, James, and they've had good possession time, and they get rewarded there by capitalizing on the opportunity, but I really feel that these next few shifts are really important. You're the back half of the first period. You just scored. you got to find a way to continue to push. And that doesn't reach the net. Shot! Oh, it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. 
Rush is looking to break out of their own end. Here's a shot off target. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Russia's been running around and chasing the game, look very disorganized out there, not aggressive, and giving that opponent way too much time with the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Nizhny Novgorod's got possession here in the neutral zone. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! Turn that one aside. Relentless pressure! Oh, what a tough save by Burden! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Quick pass to Gonchar. Nizhny Novgorod's gonna play it from the corner. Here's a shot! Denies him with the pad. The Panthers have it now. Takes a shot, and he's able to handle that one. Huska's gonna slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Nizhny Novgorod's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Athanasiu. Oh, what a stop by Burden! Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Rush is sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Rush has won the draw. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, it's a nice out of the play! Whoa! The true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. Salivating with a five-on-three power play. On a five-on-three, sometimes the puck movement along the outside is too slow. You have to have perfect timing with that. It can be too fast as well. If you're going to work the puck from high to low, look cross crease. That back door might be wide open. Over the line they come. Fires it. Shuts him down. Takes the puck. Oh, he saved it. Oh, my God. He's going to stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Handles the pass. They've got an on man rush. And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James. Because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. And they used their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it, they could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up in the back of the net. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Nizhny Novgorod's playing it from the side. And he takes the feed. Starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible 
save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Oh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. The Tornadoes send their man advantage unit out once more. You're struggling on the power play. You have to find a way to get the shots through to the net. And you have to crash. Not one player, not two. Everyone has to drive. And that's blocked in traffic. Let's it go. Rush has got the puck shorthanded. Nizhny Novgorod's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. They're all over the puck here, James. I mean, their opponent, they don't even have time to breathe. Misses! Feeling all sorts of heat in the defensive end, trying to clear. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. Trying to gain a step. He's in, all alone, and puts it on the post. And he takes the dish. Moves it to Lynch. Swap up. And player hauls down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Let's see what the officials say. Late in the period and a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Every playoff game, our team score breaks you off. <sighs> Opening face off for period number three is ready to go. The Tornado's power play continues to start the frame and they win the draw. Rush has got possession while undermanned and manages to clear the zone. Takes possession. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And he takes the feed. Scooped up along the wall by Brasso. Turns him away. The Panthers are on the attack. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Well, I really like them working off the 1 3 1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. You're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Moves it quickly over to Bracco. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. If you look at the analytics or the heat map, this is his wheelhouse right tight to the net. If he gets any time with that puck, he's going to bury it. He's such an accurate shooter. The Panthers have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. And a puck check knocks the puck away. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves 
in the penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, Jane. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place that you attack is. The Tornadoes will kill off a few extra seconds now. Slick feed. A center chance! Scores! What a finish on the play! For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision, and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice, and that's how they get the goal. Nizhny Novgorod's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. And they win that neutral zone draw. Nizhny Novgorod's got it along the wall. Here's a chance. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Burden. Slides the puck over. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. A chance! Too much congestion. Scores! Break out the clutch here on the steal because that's a full on answer. Well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. In today's game, so many goaltenders are butterfly goalies, and he is no different as he drops into the butterfly, looking to get his arms up quick enough, but he can't. The shooter just whistles one up high. The Panthers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort.